Okay, just a quick disclaimer before we begin. First of all, this microphone's used, so the review might not be 100% accurate. So let me turn off the desktop audio. Second of all, please wear headphones. Please wear headphones and make sure you're isolated from other sound sources in order to get the, the full use of the review. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone, this is Cassidy Stamps, and welcome to another microphone review. Microphone review video. Yeah, I do know that it looks like, it seriously looks like this microphone is not pointed at my mouth, but it most definitely is. But today I am reviewing this guy. It is the Electro Voice US 690. If you want this microphone, it'll ship it'll set you back around $277 on Amazon at the time of this review, but we're going to skip what comes in the box as I got this used. Thank you. Now, in terms of build quality, it does feel pretty sturdy. It has an all-metal gooseneck with a metal mesh grill that does not have any give to it whatsoever. How However, this part right here is made out of plastic, so keep that in mind. Also, it used to have a little ring around it, but that part actually broke. This one's an older one, so the ring was black, but I believe nowadays it is, um, yeah, nowadays it's yellow. Or is that silver? I don't know, that is such a bad picture. And if we unscrew the microphone grill... You will find the capsule, which does have a built-in sibilance filter, and it also has a bit of a shock mount on it. Now, as far as specifications go, it does have a dynamic neodymium magnet structure for the element, and it has a 60 hertz to 220 kilohertz frequency response at close range, and at far range, it's 150 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Nice that they include both. It has a cardioid polar pattern. It has a open circuit sensitivity of... It has a microphone sensitivity of 3.1 millivolts per pascal, which tr translates to roughly negative 50 decibels, RE1 volt per pascal. It has a dynamic range of 144 decibels. It has an equivalent output noise of 14 decibels. Do decibels equals 0 0.002 dynes per centimeter squared. Polarity is that pin 2 is positive, reference to pin 3. It has an impedance of 350 ohms and balanced. It has a 3-pin XLR connector. It has a matte black finish. It has a Memreflex grill screen. It is 16.58 inches, or for our international viewers, 421 millimeters in length, and 2.05 inches, or 52 millimeters in diameter. Its net weight is 15.3 ounces, or 4433 grams. Its shipping weight is 23.5 ounces, or 665 grams. And of course, it it does have a guess a bit of a presence boost in the treble end, as well as a big bass roll off starting at it looks like two hundred hertz. You see that looks to be about the negative three. And there you can see the proximity effect. There is the lower limit as well as the upper limit. And here is a here is a presumption precise view of the polar pattern. It says to, for vocals to pl be 0 to 6 inches from the windscreen and on axis with the microphone, and for spoken word to be 5 to 10 inches. 
Now, for spoken word test, we're going to read the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I now have the microphone attached to a much longer cable so that we can do a polar pattern test, which is also why I have the windscreen on. But yeah, see? It's a different cable. So, we are currently at the zero degree position. Let's move around to the 90 degree position, show you the off-axis rejection and coloration. Let's spin it around to the 180 degree position, which is, which, or as close to the 180 degree position as possible anyway, which will show you what it sounds like from the rear. And now let's, sorry, yeah, that'll happen, but now let's spin it around to the ninth, or to the 270 degree position before rotating and arriving back at zero degrees, the front, or 360 degrees. Okay, I'm now passing it back and forth between my hands to show you how good the internal shock mounting actually is. And now I am rubbing it all over the place. Last time I tried making this review, I might have been a bit too aggressive with the plosive test because this... It is just a cheap Chinese mass-produced pop filter, but... Yeah, this could not handle it. So... Here goes nothing. Now, I will note that I did replace the foam inside of the grill, so this won't be accurate, but it'll, it'll definitely be similar because I have never seen a single, a single one of these microphones with a handheld shaped grill actually do well with plosives. So anyways, pineapple pizza and pumpkin pie. Pineapple pizza and pumpkin pie. Pineapple pizza and pumpkin pie. And finally, one last time with the windscreen. Pineapple pizza and pumpkin pie. Actually, this is a pop filter, sorry. I am now right on top of the microphone to show you the ASMR proximity effect. I am now right on top of the microphone with the gain turned down and speaking in a normal voice to show you the proximity effect. I am now about three inches off of the microphone with it pointed at around about the corner of my mouth. And this is how it sounds. I am approximately six inches away from the microphone without level matching, and this is how it sounds. Oops. I am about one foot away from the microphone without level matching. I am about two feet of the away from the microphone without level matching. And I am about four feet away from the microphone without level matching. Okay, I am now about six inches away from the microphone with it being approximately level matched. I am now about one foot away from the microphone, about two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the Electro Voice US 690 microphone. Okay, I am now speaking, or I am now typing into a keyboard that it is quite loud, although it does not have any cherry switches that is directly behind the microphone, though, to show you how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And now for you, gamers, I am typing on the sad W keys. Now, uh, to see if there are any resonant frequencies in it, I'm going to tap the microphone in as many places as possible. However, I should not be do testing that in the boom arm. Because the boom arm is full of resonant frequencies. Full of them. <laughs> Whoa! This is what the Electro Voice US690 sounds like in a fairly okayly treated closet. 
Okay, this is how the Electro Voice US690 sounds in a completely untreated room. Okay, this is how the Electro Voice US690 sounds in a completely untreated room. Now I am doing a boom arm bump test, as well as a desktop tap test. Oh, that would be the camera doing that. But yeah, hear that? Electro voice, electro voice, electro voice, electro voice. Electro voice is at it again with the only dynamic lectern microphone I've seen. Electro voice, electro voice, electro voice, electro voice. Yeah! Okay, in terms of pros, this microphone does have a tight cardioid polar pattern. It did fairly well with the distance test, it fell off pretty quickly. And of course, it does have neodymium, which makes it more sensitive. And then, in terms of cons, it did not do very well with plosives. <laughs> yeah. But then again, this is an old microphone, and I did replace the foam inside of it, so it could be what I did to it. <laughs> and, um, and it doesn't have the best handling noise either. Although this is a lectern microphone, and you won't be hand-holding it. But still, it will be attached to the lectern. So I would have liked to have seen at least some better handling noise rejection. My overall thoughts is that this microphone excels in what it was designed to do. It does not excel with in this scenario. You see, I even have it in a clip, which you are not supposed to do, but I do not have a base for it, so it's in a so in a clip it is. Now, with that being said, would I recommend this microphone? Yeah. As long as you use it in a lectern in a live public speaking environment. Oh, that took way too long. However, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Stop. I do not want you to be in duration. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But anyways, this has been Cassady Stamps. Cheers for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.